In this video, I'll show you how to create a Likert plot using Stack Graphics 18. A Likert plot is used to plot responses to a question on a questionnaire. Respondents are typically asked to express their opinion based on a Likert scale. A typical five-point Likert scale would range from strongly disagree to strongly agree. This Likert plot divides respondents according to various categories. They're broken down by employment sector, by race, by education, and by gender. Each row of the plot shows the percentage breakdowns at each step of the Likert scale. Each bar is centered such that the zero value goes through the middle of the no opinion section. A Likert plot like this where the bars are predominantly above zero shows strong agreement within every category. The only categories showing any strong disagreement with the statement is the employment sectors, government, and other. To create a Likert plot in Stack Graphics 18, you should load a data sheet looking similar to this. I've taken various groupings, divided them into categories, and shown how many respondents responded strongly disagree, disagree, no opinion, agree, agree strongly, and there can also be a no response column. To create the Likert plot, I'll go to Describe, Categorical Data, Likert Plot. Into the data field, I'll put the five columns containing my counts. If I had some no response counts, I'd put them where it says no response, but they're all zeros. I need to put in a column with categories and I may or may not put in a grouping variable. When I press OK, I'll see a second dialog box. This is where I define the Likert scaling. It's set to go now from 1 for strongly disagree by 1 for each step of the scale. That's very typical. If I press OK, you'll see that in addition to the Likert plot, I can also ask for an analysis summary and summary statistics. I'm going to check that box as well and press OK. The analysis window you see here includes two tables and a graph. Let's take a closer look at the graph by double clicking. Let's also push the right mouse button and go to Pane Options where you'll see three options for the Likert plot. I can select whether or not to draw a vertical line at zero, whether or not to add group names to my row labels, and whether or not to sort the categories. I'm going to turn off the options for adding group names and press OK, which will shorten the names a little bit. I'll also reduce the text font so things fit better on my screen. After looking at the plot, I'll double click to put it away and then double click in the upper left pane where I'll see category summaries. I'll see a count for each category and also percentages for strongly disagree, disagree, and so forth. As an aside, let me show you something you may not have found. In Stack Graphics 18, if you push the right mouse button on any table, you can select tabular options. That lets you set things like the maximum width of the output table, and also whether or not you want to split wide tables. If I uncheck that checkbox and press OK, then I'll get a single table with all the levels of the Likert scale. 
Also useful are the summary statistics that I've calculated. If I go down here, I can see statistics for each category. I can see a count, a mean, a median, a mode, and a standard deviation. These are based upon the Likert scale, which in this case runs from 1 for strongly disagree to 5 for strongly agree. In summary, a Likert plot is a very useful tool for analyzing responses to a questionnaire.